Hi friends, today we are going to discuss a first example uh, of cleansing process in DQS. So we have a source in Excel file right now with some records. Right, so we want to cleanse this data like uh, this spelling is wrong. So we will change it same with the next record and this is a product code so that also we will clean okay so let's start with the cleansing process so here we need to create a knowledge base first and give any title to the knowledge base so right now we are working with the product name so giving a title it's a product name knowledge base here you can give the description regarding this uh, knowledge base and click on the next button so now next process is to create the domain for this knowledge base so click on the add new button give any name to the domain product domain and click on the ok button so the domain is created here you can see some properties regarding this domain and reference data domain rule domain values that we will discuss in a later videos but right now we just want to cleanse this data so move to the term base relation add new relation here you will put a value which you want to clean so right now my first value which i want to clean it's a second one so put it and that I want to correct it as a clutches second relation I'm going to add is this record I want to clean again to clutches third record which i want to clean is this id or product code it's 924512 and that i want to correct it uh, with the source Okay, so it's enough and click on the finish button so knowledge base is published successfully so your knowledge base is created here now click on the new data quality project given a title to your project it's a project for products you can give the description if you want like a product for cleansing process and here you need to select the knowledge base which you have created for this domain so right now it's our product name knowledge base and you have to select the activities it's a cleansing click on next you need to select the your data source in the mapping tab so my data source is in excel right now and you will browse your source it's a source copy right my source name is and here you can select the sheet 
okay now in the mapping field you want to map your product name with the domain which you have created so select this domain and click on the next button okay so this process is over here now you can start to run this knowledge base so here you can see that your completeness of data is 100 percentage and accuracy level is also 100 percentage total number of records is 8 here you can see that the total number of records is 8 and click on next button ok now in the product domain you can see that in a new tab you have uh, 8 records and also you can see that this product code that you have changed to shoes clothy that you have changed to clothes and the same with the next record clothes 98 it's changed to clothes right and also you can observe that yeah, the confidence level of the records which you have changed is 100 percentage and as a reason the term based relations okay so now for the output of the data you have to approve this value so here you can approve this value by clicking clicking on radio button and my third record which I have changed is source so when you will click here it will be move to the corrected tab and the value which I have not changed if you will approve it that value will be switched to the correct tab okay so that much record I have approved and click on the next button okay so it is your output you can export this output in a SQL server in a CSV and in a excel file so right now i am going to export it in a sql server select the database to which you want this data and give any name to the table like a product analysis and uh, click on export button so your data is exported successfully move to SQL server refresh your table so you will get your table here and you can see the output like a clothes is changed to the clothes that we have not changed <coughs> this one we have changed it to the clothes next record you can see and this code is changed to source and here you can see that uh, the product name which you have changed that confidence level is a uh, higher means 100 percentage so it is set to 1 and it is uh, corrected as a status Okay, thank you for so much for watching. If you liked it, uh, please subscribe.